What up? My name is Decap, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I produced ultrasound for Joyner Lucas and Ableton Live. Let's go. Okay, be ready to hold up, Dan. I'm ready to roll up on that minute of motor, make your motor spin. I'm blow the ball up every corner. What are the you notice, Dan? I literally made this beat just playing around. A producer friend of mine, ordinary youngster, sent me his drum kit. And I was just making a beat, showing him how I use the sounds in his kit. I ended up being at Joyner Lucas's house, playing him the track, and uh, and he was vibing with it. And eventually, he had me send it to him, and he recorded the track "Ultrasound" to it, which ended up being his first single um, off his last album. Just to start going over what I did in the beat, I started out with this melody, reverbed intro, leading into the actual sound. So I'll play it now. after it dropped into this. And you can hear that the volume's ducking out. That's happening because in Ableton, I added a compressor and I side-chained it to the kick drum. So <laughs> this is kind of funny to me that this beat got placed because it literally has eight tracks. Wait. I take that back. It literally has six tracks. It's always surprising to me how the beats that I don't really try end up being the most interesting to artists. So this beat literally just has a kick, a snare, the melody, um, a hi-hat loop from Drums That Knock, my drum kit, um, a vocal chop, and an 808. So um, once it drops in, there's literally just a kick and snare. That's all that supports it. It's so simple. And how I did it was I just dragged the snare in as an audio file in Ableton, and I dragged the kick in, and I just did my rhythm that way. I didn't play anything out. I remember I made this beat at the kitchen table on my laptop in my parents' house when I was visiting a couple years ago. So check it out with the drums and the bass. So the bass, I just loaded one of the sounds from Ordinary Youngsters kit, um, one, of the, one of the 808 sounds, um, into a simpler. So for that little drop um, where you heard the marimba repeating, I did that right in the Ableton timeline. I just took one of the notes, this one, and then I just copied it and then pasted it two more times. And that's how it gave it that choppy effect. And now in this section, I added a vocal chop And this is the vocal chop. So then if you look at the MIDI, this is how I, I chopped it up with Simpler. I was literally just messing around in this beat. I, it's, it's hilarious that it got placed. I didn't even, um, I, I don't even think this vocal sound was used in the final record. So literally just six tracks. And, and in this part also the hi-hat loop came in, which is from my Drums That Knock kit. So that was a pre-made loop that I made. Also on the vocal chop, I added an isotope nectar. Um, I'll play it without it and play it with it and show you what it did. So you can see that brightened it up a bit. I just used the Motown power preset. And then I added a simple delay, just to add a little delay to it. Mm -hmm. 
In the 808, there's no kind of side chain on it. The hi-hat, I just added a little bit of EQ, um, boosted up some of the highs. And uh, on the pluck, I added a little bit of a high boost as well. And there's nothing on the kick or the snare. And then on the master, uh, to make it bump, I added uh, a glue compressor and added 8.4 decibels of gain with soft clipping on. Kind of gives it that analog soft clipping feel. So I'll play the beat without it and then with it. So you can see it's a lot softer, a lot quieter. And then when I add it, just gives it a little more bump, a little more thickness. I feel like the soft clipping made it a little more in your face and a little more active. So that's it. That's how I made Ultrasound for Joyner Lucas. It's a real simple track, only six tracks. I had no intention for this to get placed. Shout out to Ordinary Youngster for giving me his kit, which, I, which most of the sounds are from his kit in this track. Peace. <laughs>